and you hear it that tight winding of time before the bomb explodes. The throwing of fists of sound against walls, that bumbling of ground under determined foot. That, my friends, is divinity for the Boris Jackson. Always marching with battleship purpose, always in some place to go. Divinity Bella Boas Jackson is number seven of eleven children. She is thick set like a thousand year old tree trunks and blind in one eye. The left one punched out in a claw fight, the right as sharp as a cutthroat razor on the upswing. Ready to slice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Divinity Bella Boas Jackson got her name from teaching grown men to crawl and children to fly. She eats three raw eggs with hot chili every morning for breakfast, along with her cornmeal porridge and pancakes. She said, maple syrup is for the pussy lemons. <laughs> Bow legs like arches, hands like vices, hands made to work the land, hands sculpted by mule work. It's in my genes, she said, as she chiseled the, rule for the, the rules for the survival of the fittest list into the handle of her axe named Eliza that she hangs over her front door, looking down like St. Peter with a bad attitude. She never painted her big toes when she varnished her nails. She said her ancestors had had their chop toes chopped so that they couldn't run. And she wasn't about to run, not from anything, not from anyone. You see, she and hers had earned the right to stay, earned the right to have it her way. Divinity mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Feather Boas Jackson drunk a punnet of sheep's blood from the Hebrew butchers on Wednesdays and she fawned over the sunflowers in the backyard. She said Oshun should never be left for the cattle or the crows. She said Oshun knows when her shrine has been neglected and doesn't take it too kindly despite the 23rd psalm so an offering and meditation is always expected. And she would squeeze the sunflower seeds with the heel of her palm in the floor to make oil for the spicy gumbo and bandit she would give to the shabby shawl shamans and the homeless every Friday. Divinity Feather Boas Jackson needed no Da Vinci Code to know she was blessed. You see, her father had named her well after his own father's mother. And Divinity had a few things to say. She wanted a word with man and his wicked ways. So when? So divinity knows it takes time to learn how to shine, to stand in the light of your womanhood. So when the sky tipped and the sun dipped into the starry neighborhood of twilight, she would command her feet to grip the ground like a giant redwood and she would stand just as upright and she would dig deep into her soul, deep like a Gandhi speech, Gandhi speech for peace and she would open her throat and she would sing, I've got the whole world in my hand and I overstand the rites of passage through this master plan under a purple passion halo I am a woman to shape the patience of this world mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now I hear the shaka laka lak of the sufferance train for all the miles and miles and miles and miles of tribes that racked my brain. I am a woman of the waterfalls ingrained into the patience of this world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My hands are raised to the heavens, palm side up, and my throat is hoarse from all the prayers I've offered up And my eyes are bloodshot from the weeping My heart offered up for all the patience in this world Well just give me food, clothes and shelter I'll make a home Just give me peace, love and water The cornerstones for humanity to prosper Not your words alone Respect this patience that I hold. Cause I've got shoulders broad as oceans to bear the pain. And I've got thighs as strong as mountains to take the 